Welcome back to www.shoeswapmarina.com On the lot today, we have this very nice 2004 Chaparral Signature 260 It's a 26 foot boat It's about 30 feet overall with the swim platform and the bowsprit and the anchor It comes on this custom painted trailer with uh, electric over hydraulic brakes which is a nice setup. Boat itself is in very good shape. It's cleaned up very nicely with our detailing and it's been well maintained by the owner. It has a Mercruiser Cruiser 350 Magnum MPI multi-port fuel injected 5.7 liter V8 with the Bravo 3 powertrain. Which is perfect for this boat. I don't think you'd want any less power and you really don't need any more. It's got the radar arch, which not only looks sharp, it is functional. Um, as far as, you know, putting a radar on it, if you were to do that. It's been anti-fouled, so it's uh, certainly ready to go for saltwater use if, uh, if you chose to do that. And we'll just take a quick walk around the boat and go over some of the features of it here with you. Uh, these folks are getting out of boating, so uh, stuff like all of your mooring lines and fenders are just going to go with the boat. And that stuff's all in good shape. And we'll just take a nice walk around it here, and, and then we'll hop in and uh, show you some of the neat things that Chaparral's thought of doing inside the boat here. Now, if you're thinking, geez, I wonder if the boat looks that good in person. In this case, it absolutely does. I mean, it looks, certainly does not uh, portray its 10 years of age. Nice big swim platform at the back. And you do have a nice uh, accessible locker in the back for stuff like your shore power cable or life ring, that kind of thing. And we'll hop up in the boat here and uh, show you some more cool stuff. Okay, so here we have the cockpit of the Chaparral 260. And as you can see, it's got a great layout and some cool features as well. Let's step into it here. We do have snap out removable carpet, place for a cooler up above here, and a nice little wet bar sink uh, there for you to be able to clean stuff out while you're on the go. Very good quality upholstery all throughout, and it's all in really good shape. Looking over at the dash here, nice and simple, clutter-free. I think 300 hours on the dot on this boat. Of a 10-year-old boat, average of 30 hours a year is what I would consider pretty light usage. I know the boat did come up from the States, um, but since it's been up here, it's been serviced by us. And uh, the boat runs really well. We've done our mechanical inspection on it, and it's... Uh, Past it with flying colors. As I swing around here, you can see there are in-molded steps here to get up onto the bow so that you can deal with your anchor and an opening windshield there. Full camper canvas as you can see. Once again a nice feature, really good uh, headroom in here. And a table that you can either have here or there's another spot for it just off to the side, which is very cool. If you're into fishing and that kind of thing, there are a couple of flush mount rod holders mounted on the aft corners of the boat here, which is cool. And then this rear seat actually folds up completely out of the way. Um, once again, very thoughtful of Chaparral. And then this seat over here actually um, is removable as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, bolstered helm seat, once again, super nice feature. This makes docking and everything that much more comfortable and easy. And you can get up, get your head up above the windshield there. Very nice. So this is the view of the Chaparral 260 as we head down the companionway into the uh, into the cabin here. And as you can see in typical Chaparral form, you've got good quality Corian countertops. You've got some wood down below that's nicely finished and nice to look at. We've got an electric stove. And it looks like it's electric and alcohol, which is a nice combination. Although with the gen set, you'd never have to worry about 
running out of electrical power. In these little compartments here, got your uh, microwave and even space for coffee maker over here. Now you'll notice on the pictures on the website that uh, we do have pictures of the bed set up and this is with the table set up, obviously. Um, you know, once again, chaparral finishing, everything is nicely finished and uh, for a 10 year old boat it sure does not show its age. Uh, air conditioning, another great reason for having a gen set. Uh, just makes those hot summer nights not only bearable but super comfortable. And as we uh, over on the starboard side here we've got a, a little hanging locker and there's space in there to put the table and the filler cushion as well. And as we look in the head here, a pump style toilet which isn't a bad thing although given the power of the generator you could certainly um, easily hook up an electric toilet into this scenario for a little more convenience but uh, that being said the pump toilets work very well as well and you do have shower in in the head here it is all draining um, once again nice and clean nicely finished out just a quick view of the aft cabin here um, the owners do still have some stuff on the boat that we've bagged up for them and it's pretty dark in there, hard to see, but it is a nice sized aft cabin. Certainly sleep a couple of adults in there. And uh, once again, nicely fitted out. All your switches uh, for DC are here and your AC panel just up here. Very nicely done. Another cool feature that I saw on this boat that I really liked, I mean, aside from having a TV, which is great, is this hatch here, which actually has dual sliders. One to totally block your light out, and the other one's a fly screen for when you want a little bit of fresh air and don't want the bugs in here. I think it's very cool how they've done that. And as we look over here, you can see there is a fridge. Uh, it's not just an ice box, and more storage just in beside that as well. Nicely thought out. And here we have the engine compartment of the Chaparral 260. Nice and clean, nicely laid out, and typical Chaparral form. Uh, you've got two good deep cycle batteries there, and then also right around on this side, a Kohler Gen set. Um, you know, really, really logical package. Um, you know, you can run those batteries for a long time, and and before they're dead, fire up your gen set and you're safe. And like I say, lots of room to work in there. And the 350 mag MPI, it's a great power plant. 300 horse, more than enough for this boat. Cruises really nicely. Remote oil filter, that saves you a bit on your maintenance costs as well. Just because the tech doesn't have to bury himself between the gen set and the block to get at the oil filter. But there you have it. Clean, nicely laid out, well done Chaparral. So there you have it, it's a 2004 Chaparral Signature 260, 30 feet of boat, overall, on the trailer, 5.7 mag MPI, Mercruiser, multi-port fuel injected power package, Bravo 3 drive, on the trailer, and we're asking just $44,900. Thanks for coming by, shishwapmarina.com. Bye for now.